evening. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, the women at risk of having a stillborn baby because of an undiagnosed disease. New research shows that women who develop diabetes in pregnancy but don't have it identified are four times more likely to have a stillbirth than those who don't have the condition. Our health correspondent Jamie Coulson's report deals with some upsetting issues. This is our memory box that we um, had specially designed for Calipatera. In October last year, Gaynor Thompson and Ben Morehouse were eagerly awaiting the birth of their first child. But just two weeks before the due date, their baby girl, Calipatera, was stillborn. The couple were told the most likely cause was gestational diabetes, a condition where high blood sugar develops during pregnancy. It's as though you've died yourself. There's a big part of you that has. You just feel that you've done something wrong, I guess. Um, you just feel like you've let your child down. People ask, are you OK? Well, sometimes we say, yeah, we are, we are OK, but really we're not, we're not OK. Any woman can develop gestational diabetes during pregnancy, but risk factors include family history, ethnicity and body weight. Gaynor was tested when she was 26 weeks pregnant, although in her case, she was told the results were normal. Around 1 in 20 pregnancies in the UK are affected by gestational diabetes, and most women will go on to have a healthy baby. But now a new study has found that women who develop the condition during pregnancy but who aren't diagnosed are at an increased risk of stillbirth. The study, which was led by the universities of Leeds and Manchester, looked at more than a 1,000 women in 41 maternity units. It found that women who were diagnosed and treated for gestational diabetes had the same level of risk as someone without the condition. But women who had the condition but were undiagnosed were four times more likely to experience stillbirth. It is a serious condition. It's not clear why some women in the study were not diagnosed, but around one in four women who were clinically obese or from a South Asian or Black Caribbean heritage were not screened. Women with gestational diabetes can be reassured that the care that they receive is likely to have a huge benefit. Women who miss out on that diagnosis, despite having raised blood sugar levels, we should understand more about why they're missing out, because if they receive that care, then it would greatly reduce their risk of stillbirth. Public Health England say diabetes in pregnancy is managed by official NICE guidance, but the body that advises the government on screening programmes is reviewing all the evidence. Gaynor and Ben wanted to share their story to help others avoid similar heartbreak. Jamie Coulson, BBC Look North. Well, we're joined by Professor Alex Heasel, the director of Tommy's Stillbirth Research Centre. Professor Heasel, why do you think there aren't enough women getting tested? It isn't necessarily just because they're choosing not to, is it? I think it's because women are choosing not to be screened. Um, we think in some cases um, hospitals aren't able uh, to screen everybody um, or maybe they have altered uh, the thresholds that um, they use for screening. So, for example, um, as your correspondent said, body weight. Um, you might um, say, well, we'll only have mums who are, um, have a particularly high body weight. We'll only screen them. So how do you fix that? What can be done to get more women tested? Well, I think um, what we need to do, what this, this, the study shows, is that the nice guidelines that we have that tell us how to screen um, for diabetes, we need to make sure that those guidelines find their way into clinical practice and all the mums who should be tested for diabetes are. Now, as we saw in Jamie's report there, getting diagnosed seems to wipe out any added risk of stillbirth. How does a diagnosis make such a difference? Well, I think um, our study showed that if mums had a, a diagnosis and, and were treated, um, they actually had no increased risk of stillbirth, which is really good news. So it means the treatment's effective. And that includes having scans to see how your baby's growing to make sure it's not growing too much. And also um, having dietary advice, um, sometimes tablets or insulin injections to um, control the blood sugar. And what's your message to women who are worried about this condition? Is there much they can do through diet, for example? 
Um, yes, uh, we think a healthy diet, so um, reducing the amount of sugar that we eat, um, that's one of the first-line treatments of um, gestational diabetes. So um, we'd always encourage mums to have a healthy diet when they're pregnant. And if you're invited to have a sugar test um, by your hospital during pregnancy, then you should really, we would advise you to take that up. Professor Alex Heasel, thank you.